Hi, I'm Sylvia, your safety trainer, and in today's video, we're tackling a tiny but significant topic, insect safety. Although they may be small, insects can cause a variety of problems, from minor irritations to serious health issues. Enjoying this safety video? There's more where that came from on Got Safety Light. Sign up for free and gain access to our library of over 1,800 safety videos. If we don't have the lesson you're looking for, we'll make it at no cost. Click the link to sign up today. Today, we'll dive into what you should do if you're bitten or stung, and more importantly, how you can prevent these encounters in the future. So let's get started and arm ourselves with the knowledge to stay safe from these little pests. When it comes to dealing with insect bites and stings, while they typically only cause minor redness and itching that dissipates after a few days, knowing how to properly respond is crucial to preventing more serious complications. Here's what you should do if you find yourself bitten or stung by an insect. First, if the sting leaves a stinger embedded in your skin, it's important to remove it carefully. Use a credit card or another straight edge object to scrape it out. Avoid using tweezers or your fingers, as squeezing might release more venom into your skin. Once the stinger is out, wash the affected area thoroughly with soap and water to minimize the risk of infection. To reduce swelling and soothe the pain, apply ice wrapped in a towel or a washcloth to the side of the bite or sting. Do this for 10 minutes on, then 10 minutes off, and repeat once more. If you're experiencing discomfort, taking an antihistamine can help manage allergic reactions. Over the next several days, keep an eye on the bite or sting for signs of infection, such as increased swelling, pain, or redness. In the case of a tick bite, it's important to remove the tick as soon as possible. Use fine tip tweezers to carefully pull the tick straight out from as close to the skin surface as possible. Avoid twisting or jerking motions to prevent leaving parts of the tick embedded in the skin. Folk remedies like burning the tick or applying substances like nail polish are ineffective and should be avoided. After removal, clean the bite area and your hands thoroughly. By following these steps, you can effectively manage insect bites and stings, reducing discomfort and preventing further health issues. Sometimes, individuals may experience severe allergic reactions to insect bites or stings, known as anaphylaxis, which requires immediate and decisive action to ensure their safety. It's crucial to be prepared and know how to assist someone showing signs of a serious allergic reaction. If you suspect someone is having an extreme reaction, the first step is to check their airways and breathing. Difficulty breathing, a tight feeling in the throat, or severe swelling around the face are clear indicators of a serious allergic response. In such cases, it's essential to call 911 immediately to get professional medical help. While waiting for emergency services, remove any constricting items such as rings or tight clothing from the affected area to prevent further complications from swelling. If the person has an EpiPen or a similar emergency medical kit, use it according to the provided instructions. This can be life-saving in cases of severe allergic reactions. Stay with the person at all times until medical help arrives, monitoring their condition and providing reassurance. Keeping calm and acting swiftly can make a significant difference in the outcome of these critical situations. Bug bites can be more than just an annoyance. They can also be carriers for serious diseases. For example, mosquitoes are known vectors for transmitting diseases such as West Nile virus, malaria, dengue fever, and Zika virus. Similarly, ticks can spread conditions like Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Given the potential health risks associated with these bites, it's important to be vigilant. If you're bitten, closely monitor your health over the following weeks. Be on the lookout for any unusual symptoms, such as rashes, fever, or unexplained ailments. If you notice any of these symptoms, it's crucial to seek medical attention promptly. Make sure to inform your doctor about the recent bug bite, as this information can be critical in diagnosing and treating any potential disease transmitted by the bite effectively. To minimize the risk of insect bites and the potential diseases they can carry, it's important to take several precautions when spending time outdoors. Start by tucking your pants into your socks, which helps prevent bugs from crawling up your legs. Choose your clothing carefully, opting for tan, khaki, or dark colors over bright ones that might attract insects mistaking them for flowers. 
When planning outdoor activities, consider the timing. Avoiding the outdoors during dawn and dusk can be effective since these are peak times for many insects, such as mosquitoes, to seek meals. Also, be aware of and avoid insect habitats where possible. Ticks often reside in moist, shaded areas with low vegetation, while mosquitoes thrive near stagnant water. Disturbing nests and mounds of ants, bees, or wasps increases the likelihood of being stung, so it's best to steer clear of these areas. Finally, applying insect repellent is a crucial step in protecting yourself. It deters insects from landing on you, significantly reducing the chance of bites. By adopting these practices, you can enjoy the outdoors more safely and comfortably, with less concern about the annoyances and health risks posed by insects. Using repellent is an effective way to prevent bug bites, particularly from mosquitoes and ticks. When using repellent, it's important to keep several tips in mind to ensure it is applied safely and effectively. Start by reading the entire label carefully before using the repellent to understand proper application and any precautions. Apply the repellent sparingly and only on exposed skin surfaces or over clothing. Remember, a heavy application does not enhance its effectiveness and you should never apply repellent under clothing. Be cautious to avoid getting repellent in your eyes. If accidental contact occurs, rinse your eyes immediately with water to prevent irritation. Additionally, avoid using repellent on open wounds, irritated skin, or areas affected by sunburn, as it can cause further irritation. It's also important to use repellent responsibly in your surroundings. Avoid spraying in enclosed areas to prevent inhaling it and be sure not to spray it around food to prevent contamination. By following these guidelines, you can use repellent effectively while minimizing potential risk and discomfort, keeping yourself protected from bites in bug-prone environments. Preventing bug bites and stings is crucial not only to avoid minor annoyances, but also to protect against dangerous diseases. Remember to use repellent effectively and adhere to the safety tips discussed to minimize the risk of future bites or stings. Implementing these preventive measures can significantly reduce your chances of encountering this pest and the associated health risk. That's all for today's lesson. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to check us out on social media for more safety tips and updates. And remember, always stay safe out there. <sighs> Applies ice wrapped in a towel or a washcloth Ice. Oh, applies the ice. <laughs> Thank you. Use fine tip twizzers to carefully pull the ticks straight out from as close to the skin surface as possible. <laughs> the twizzers. <laughs> as it can cause. As it can cause. As it can cause. As it can cause.